Good morning. From the launch field this morning, it's uh, half past five. And the teams around us are just starting to wake up and get themselves their first look at the weather this morning. We had a stunning flight yesterday evening. It's kind of quiet. Nature's doing its thing. Birds are singing. Cows are mooing in the distance. But the sun just popping up over the horizon. As we start to get everything ready, wait for the weather forecast to come through. Oh, the team that I'm with are here, already starting to place their claim on the launch field to get ourselves going. In a minute, get a cup of tea. Oh, a little bit nippy in the air. Been camping for the first time this year, so quite cold. Domain. It's having a bit of an inspection today, but this is a home-built uh, balloon by the lady pilot uh, that I've been flying with this weekend. Hoping we can stand it up this afternoon. It's kind of warm and a bit thermal, so we'll see how the wind behaves uh, as we try to get the balloon stood up. But first chance to get a look at a brand new home-built balloon. Love it. First life in the balloon. I'm excited to see it. An idea of scale the 56,000 cubic foot balloon. Just about well, 560 kilos all in, including the weight of the envelope and all of its fuel, and that allows you some uh, opportunity as well to climb to altitude. Got a balloon laying out here on the floor behind us that's uh, no longer in flyable condition and this is kind of a traditional thing within the ballooning community to keep hold of their equipment uh, and bring it out on evenings when we're having social gatherings or with balloon meets uh, but the weather is a little bit tricky and it's not flyable tonight so this balloon has uh, been donated uh, to myself for, for preservation by a group Bristol balloon collectors so it's a massive thanks to those guys uh, for supporting uh, the little project in the region that I live, where we've got a, a, an old manufacturer of balloons from the 1970s onwards. This balloon was built in the mid-1990s and uh, it has some technological uh, features inside it which I've never seen before. So welcome to the inside of the balloon. 
uh, quite a big space filling up here. This balloon is 105,000 cubic feet, so it's quite a lot bigger than the balloons that I would normally fly for fun, and this may well have done some of its life carrying passengers, but if you can see behind me, these triangular shapes of fabric are not something that I've ever seen in a balloon before.